All right, we're just going to clean the board up a little bit now to make sure that none of the wires get pinched when you're putting it in the case. So we're going to use some zip ties here or cable ties as some people call them. If you don't have none of those, use some bread wrappers. But all we're wanting to do is just get the cables so that they're secure and out of the way. same on the other side all right now we'll just put a little uh, bracket here a little plastic wire uh, household wiring bracket now the board is not very thick depending on your board you can do as, as you please but I uh, I'm going to use I took the nails out I'm going to use screws to hold that in place I pre-drilled holes for it to start. Just snug it down good so that it holds your cable in place or your power outlet cord in place okay all right now the board is finished to connect everything here the only thing we have left we've got the transformer this came off an old printer but you can get them anywhere you can get them from Radio Shack or off eBay or if you're like me you've got some laying around but this one is a 5 volt uh, 2 amp it connects right there in our power connector so that's our 5 volts that runs our boards then to connect the whole thing to the computer I've got a 33 foot cable here that I bought from the internet it was less than $11 and this will take you 33 feet it has to be a USB A to a USB B cable. The B is the end that connects to the Arduino. And this is now done and ready to be installed in the uh, box. All right, now the cover plates, you can buy four gang cover plates but I haven't found a hardware store around where I'm at that actually carry them. You can order them, but they'll run you about $4 a piece or so. If you do it with the doubles, from the inside of the hole right here, measure over a quarter inch, draw yourself a line, cut off the outside. When they're cut off, then they'll fit together nicely in this box. We want to have these sockets where you can just move them, just wiggle them. So you'll have to loosen them just a hair to where you can just move it. That way you can line them up on these covers. So we have to put them together, push them around until they fit. All right. Put in your screw. Now you don't want to pull anything tight yet until we've got them all together. Put the other plate on. Like I say you might have to pull them apart to get enough room there for the plates to come together right. Move them around so that you close your gap on your plates. Put in the last two screws. All 
Now these are plastic, so you don't want to pull them tight. You just want to bring them down to where they stop and just a little snug. They'll crack easily if you tighten them too much. And we have our cover plates on. Now we can put it in the box. Now we want to be able to get it back out fairly easy should we have any problems. So installing it in the box, we need our USB cable. It comes in from the outside up through the hole in the back and plugs into the Arduino board. The power cord goes out through the hole in the back. And our transformer once again, out through the hole in the back. That's it. So now we're going to slip our board in, making sure that our cables all stay out of the way and don't get pinched. And it's in the box. Now we're going to put in a couple of screws just to hold it in place. All right, I was going to put the screws on the top and bottom right here, but that's not a good place for them just because of your wiring that's in the side right there. You want to make sure that you don't go anywhere near it. So the sides are your are the place where it needs to be. secure and this box is done uh, for storage a lot of times I will just take the cords right here bring them through one of the front holes roll them up and then I can just close the door and it's all in one package then okay I've got them all rolled up now and just set inside so that they're out of the way and now this box can be taken anywhere you care to have it. For me, I made this because I was trying to figure out how to get my cords across the driveway. And the easiest thing was to just run one USB cord instead of a whole lot of extension cords. So that's why I made this smaller box for the opposite side. Well, that's the end of this section of the video, how to build the uh, control boxes. In the next video, we'll download the free download programs, Arduino and Vixen. I'll show you how with a simple cut and paste, you add the program into Arduino, and then we'll begin working with Vixen. And it's really not that hard either. So, we'll see you then.